to a brand new video on our channel. So this is going to be different again. Um, I've never really done a how-to uh, video on our channel and this is actually going to be about plumbing. So if this is not your thing, just uh, yeah, move on <laughs> to something different. Uh, but uh, the reason why I wanted to do it was uh, just to see if I'm doing it right. So you guys can leave it in the comments. This is my first time doing this job this kind of a job and um, I also wanted to remember how I did it just for next time so what I'm doing is I am going to replace the faucet for the shower so this is um, a bathtub and a shower combo and uh, what is broken here really is the diverter so basically it doesn't work and uh, this is what needed to be changed and here is why it is broken so you can see the shower is going and this thing is going as well um, i can't really turn just one of them on uh, it's always both of them and really the flow of water is not that great so uh, it needs fixing no i am actually going to change the entire thing uh, the entire faucet here uh, not just the diverter now I did go to look just for a diverter um, I found one that seemed like it will probably fit in here I wasn't 100% sure uh, but it was $45 and then the whole thing is 139 now I do have a new cartridge in here this one but the other one doesn't work very well and to replace the they were there only i still have to take everything apart so i decided might as well just uh replace everything and this new cartridge that is in here i'm actually uh, going to keep it for future and then uh, i can use the spare part now this was done by a plumber before so i've never done that i have done this sink i did replace the sink and this thing here so <laughs> this is my experience uh with plumbing so far we'll see how this thing goes but first thing first we need to uh, shut down the water and drain the system and that happens in the basement so let's go down okay so here we are in the basement and I'm gonna to have to get in there it's a little bit dark also I store a lot of empty boxes here but this is where my water main is it's right next to the water meter. Okay, so that's done. I had to move a lot of boxes here. It's messy. The next thing I'm going to take care of is the hot water tank. And uh, I'm not going to drain the hot water tank. You don't need to do this for such a small procedure like this one. I'm just going to be fixing something. We're not going to be away for a long time. Uh, in some cases, you might have to drain it. Uh, but for some small repair like this one, you don't need to know what I'm going to do though first is I'm going to turn it down and I'm going to turn it down too low not on pilot just so it doesn't keep the water too hot and I'm also going to shut off the water coming into the hot water tank this way the water will just stay there we don't we're not gonna drain it well, no, no water is coming in so the hot water is not gonna come out from here I am going to start turning on water different place in the house starting with the one in the bottom so this is in the basement uh, you have to have something in, in, in the lowest place in your house so that's this is how you're gonna uh, make sure that you drain everything so by now, uh, I don't have any water upstairs. I just checked, but uh, here it's still dripping, so I'm gonna wait a little bit for it to die down completely, and then I'm gonna start working. So we're gonna move upstairs from here. Okay, back upstairs. And the first thing that I'm going to do here is actually pluck uh, the bottom, so if anything falls, I don't lose it and then I'm gonna start from this I have to remove this part 
because this whole thing has to come out after I move these as well. I'm gonna start with the one in the middle. And as you can see, this is just a screw inside and it is now removed. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the caps here. Okay, this also has a screw. And it's right here. It's hard to hold the camera to do that. <laughs> And next step is unscrewing the screws in there for both this one and that one. And this is what the screw looks like. And now these things should just come off, I guess. Yeah, they do. There we go. <laughs> And the next step is to unscrew these here. Now, one comes off very easily, which is nice, but the other one is not coming off, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get it out. Okay, using this awesome tool, I managed to loosen it, and there we go. This is now out, so this thing should come off now. Okay, maybe not. I'll have to figure out what's, what else is holding it. Okay, it's a little bit hard, but this thing is now coming off. And that's it. So now I'll have to unscrew here. And this thing will come out, so this is the broken part. But yeah, we'll replace everything. Okay, after unscrewing, this thing is just coming out. Now, I did notice that unscrewing was this way. <laughs> so kind of like to the right. Uh, I guess opposite than usual. Yeah, uh, it's already taken apart. So now we just need to take the new parts, put them back in, and we're good to go. And this is the new one. As you can see, it looks exactly the same like, like the old one. And this is the old part, casing, whatever it's called. And here's the new and shiny one. Now, one thing I'm seeing that I forgot, I have to remove these things right now, because those are the things that are holding the casing in here. So I'm just gonna keep them on the side here. And now I'm going to screw this in by hand at first. And after that, I'm going to use a wrench. Actually, I'm going to use this one because it's smaller, it's easier. So I wanted to make sure it's fairly tight. I don't know if it has to be too tight, but they were pretty tight when I was unscrewing them, so I think this is good enough. And we're almost done, so now we're just gonna put on the casing. And it goes in. <laughs> Like a knife in butter, it fits perfectly here. Of course, it is the exact same thing as the one before, so it fits perfectly. I just have to screw those things in here, and we're good to go. Like this, and yeah, those are the two things that are actually holding the whole thing together. Okay, both of those things are in place right now. I did have this one initially the wrong way. And there we go. I'm actually not going to use the wrench to tie this one up. I don't see any reason why it needs to be tied. This is, all this does is holding the casing. 
So I don't see any reason why this has to be too tight. So I'm just gonna tie it up as much as I can by hand. And as you can see, this doesn't move at all right now. So this is great. Now this it has to go in as far as I can, I guess. Let's see if I can put the screw in and screw it in like that. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna be able to do that. I should probably get further in. I don't know if I have to push it or just the screw will do the trick. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Well, I guess it won't go any further in. I can't remember if before there was that much of uh, space. I guess I could check. So again, I'm not 100% sure if this is normal. But when I look at the picture here, there is space, so probably it is. I did look at a picture that I was, that I took before taking this apart and it did have a little bit of space here I don't think it had that much space uh, let's try maybe tightening this up with with a wrench that might do something let's see okay at the end of the day this didn't make much of a difference. I did tighten up uh, this one as well a little bit uh, just to just to make sure it's not too loose but uh, yeah I don't think it has to be too tight. Okay so next one in now. Okay this one is a little bit smaller space and this one is not as tight as this one. Maybe I did tie this one up too much I don't know, but even even when I just tied it by hand, it there the, it had more. I just I don't want to leave it like too loose. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Maybe there is a problem with the wall here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's in a little bit of an angle. So we'll leave it at that. Oh, uh, just want to make sure that H stands up the same way as the C here. I just want them to point the same way all the time. Hey, now it looks like a pro job. <laughs> and the last thing to put is this one here, the cap on it. Okay, all is in, let's see if it works now. Well, we'll first have to turn on the water and uh, uh, get rid of the air in the system now. Uh, so it will take a few minutes. But let's uh, let's move back down to the basement. Here we are back in the basement. Already turned the main uh, on, turning on the hot water tank now. I'm going to put it back on very hot. And uh, we'll make sure the water is running a little bit just to make sure there is no air in the system and from here we'll go back upstairs to check if it works okay we're up here uh, there's still a little bit of air in the system but now is the moment of truth let's see what happens here okay Nothing coming from up here. Or is it coming down? Ooh. And there we go. It's working. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. And this is how it's done. This is how you replace the faucet in your bathroom uh, for a bathtub and a shower combo. Thank you for spending the time today. Feel free to leave a like, 
Thank you again. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.